What's going on? This Citizen on the Beat. And this is Sounds Made the Beat, and we are the Hit Guys. Basically, what we're about to do for y'all right now is give y'all a little sneak peek of uh, how we go about making our beat. So this is a little John that we're working on that's uh, coming off our uh, little beat tape we got dropping soon, so uh, check that out, and uh, let's go. All right, so the first thing we opened up uh, was Omnisphere uh, for our lead sound, or at least the first half of our lead sound. Uh, there was some like... We took that and we layered it with Nexus sound, which is something I use 90% of the time. So you take those two and you put them together and you get something that sounds a little bit like this. All right, so for the next sound, uh, we use the bell. We actually got two separate hits. We got a church bell, and uh, that's Omnisphere, uh, and the bell hit, which is really cool. Uh, we lay those two together, and uh, so that gives us this. It's a nice accent uh, to add on top of the lead. All right, so the next sound we uh, figured out uh, was a pad, a simple pad by Nexus. Something to give uh, ambience or like an air to the track. Sounds like that. And uh, on top of that too, we added a choir. Uh, this is also Nexus. Sounds like this. Just a nice chord. Together with the pad, they sound like this. So basically, uh, at this point, it was sounding real good. I liked the way everything was sounding. It was coming together nice. Uh, you know, it had, it had a real nice, that trap sound. So, and, uh, I was real happy with how it sounded. I felt like it was missing a little bit of power. And, you know, you know, with the drums in mind and whatnot, I really wanted something that would just really bang it out a little bit. So what I did is I uh, put a bunch of horns together. I don't like to just use one horn. You can see I have multiple instances in here. Like this is uh, the standard contact, uh, brass ensemble. Uh, did a little work to that in here and whatnot. And, uh, you know, that sounds real, real nice. But I went ahead and said, I gotta cut. See, got another brass in there, and that, that also has a lot of effects on it. Some plate reverb, uh, maximizer, and some delay. And then here's another contact, which this one I believe is, uh, yeah, this is through a, uh, you know, one of my purchased uh, libraries, Track Bang. Definitely check that out. There's some good sounds in that. And uh, you know, the hits themselves, they sound real powerful. And that's exactly what I was going for. Sound like some war cry type shit. Uh, so basically what we did now is, uh, you know, it's time to, to, to lay out some of the drums. And uh, so I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of my drum sounds. Got a couple sounds together that I like. Uh, most of these are custom. Uh, you know, they all have different types of effects and everything to bring them out. And, uh, you know, some things we keep secret. So uh, you can figure that one out on your own. So uh, basically we started it out and... Uh, threw a little triangle in there. We threw a little triangle in there, uh, you know, to build that anticipation a little bit. Went ahead and threw in the, uh, where are we at here? Threw in the, um, threw in the, the snare. Then uh, we threw in the hi-hats. Actually, I think I let Sounds do this because he's, uh, he's a hi-hat expertise. He knows so, how to, uh, you know, play the shit dirty, so. After that, it was really mat about a matter, you know, just bringing in the uh, bringing in the uh, the kicks and and let them have at it, you know. So. So we came up with all that. Sounded super dope at this point. Everything's banging, you know. We having fun with it. Everything is great. I just still felt like it was missing a little bit of urgency. We both agreed. So we went ahead and, uh, you know, popped open a little, uh, uh, little pizzicato strings and, 
Again, this is actually a, a, a layer between contact and the Nexus side. It also has that, that, that you know, pizzicato feel to it. It's real simple as far as how it goes. Fits in real nicely though. And if you listen, you can hear the difference. That being Nexus and this being with the contact layer. Felt like it was just a matter of laying it out and whatnot, and everything came together real well, and and that was it. All right, so you've seen the studio, you've seen us make a beat. Uh, you know, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all the love we get. That's why we do this, you know, for y'all. Uh, Let go. You know what? We ain't want to forget our number one inspiration, the dedication, the drive that we had inside, everything that we used to, you know, make beats. You know, it, it, it's a, it all really comes down to one person. And I, I just, I didn't, I didn't feel right, you know, doing this video without giving love to my man, Daryl Dixon. <laughs>